Hi, if like me, you prefer using Google's Excel, Google's Word, and Google for several other reasons, not just documents, the reason for using Google more than my local native apps such as OpenOffice or Excel for Mac or Pages is just because it's so easy to access my documents anywhere, anytime, on my cell phone, on my iPad, on my laptop, on my office computer, even when I'm traveling, on any computer that, where I can access internet. So, if like me, you do that, I would like to show you something that Google has, which very few people know. You can put conditional formatting rules while you're using Excel. I use Excel a lot on my office. I have a good enough use of Excel, so I have been doing some sort of research on all these features, some sort of discovery of all these features that Google has in its apps. So to add conditional formatting while you're using Google Excel, it's quite straightforward as compared to Excel for Mac or Excel 2007 from Windows. All you need to do is you need to actually select the columns or rows or cells where you want to apply that particular rule. So say for example, if I want to apply the rule in rows A, B, C, D and E, I need to actually select them. I don't have option while creating rules to mention what columns should be selected. So over here, once I have selected the columns, I need to go into Format menu. I need to click on Conditional Formatting. And right now I have created a rule which says if the text contains deep, change the text color to white and the background color to dark red. In this way, I can add any number of rules I want to. So in my previous video, which was about Excel for Mac, I said about pending and done. If I want to change the color of the text, I need to take this and select the color I want the text to appear like. So if I want, if I do not want to change the color of the text, leave it as it is. And if it is done, I would like to change it to green. Okay, so these rules I have applied on rows A to, on columns A to E. Now let's save the rules and see if it actually works. Let's go somewhere and write pending. It works. Let's go somewhere and write done. It works again. So it's quite simple, quite straightforward. And trust me, it's very helpful when you are trying to create some big Excel documents and you want to format them automatically rather than, rather than having to select the colors of individual cells every now and then and changing the text color every now and then. So be a pro Excel user, go ahead and create these rules and impress your boss, impress your manager and show them the skills, the hidden skills that you possess. Maybe your manager doesn't know that. At least my manager doesn't know it. Thanks for watching. Bye.